added weights into the workout today, into the yoga. Um, so you can get it for some parts and have it. If not, don't worry about it. Um, otherwise, we're just going to begin in child's pose. So child's pose, knees wide. And if you want to use that purple ball and put it on your forehead, it feels nice. You can do that. Good. So start to become present. Focusing on the breath. Feeling the rise and the fall of the rib cage. And then as you move through your practice today, this will be a yoga sculpt. Um, anytime where we add on the weights, you can just do what we're doing without the weights. Um, so just modify and please take any expansions you want, any variations you want. Make this your practice, make it feel good for you. Go ahead and set an intention for yourself. Something that you want for yourself. And then hold that at your third eye, your seat of intuition. And anytime you find yourself kind of in the craziness of your everyday life, just take a moment and pause, tap into the breath and into the intention that you're setting for yourself. Good, walk the hands as far out as you can in your child's pose and activate the arms. Go ahead and squeeze the belly, activate the abs. And then I want you to take your left hand behind your back and take a little half bind, lift the chest a little and take a slight twist to the left. So just gentle on the next side, looking left, opening the chest, opening the shoulder. Good, and then release that left hand back down to the mat. Walk the hands out as far as you can again. Take that right hand behind the back. See if you can grab that left thigh a little bit. Then lift the chest and take a slight twist to the right. It should feel really good. Good, release it back to your child's pose. Crawl it forward to hands and knees, stacking the shoulders directly over the wrist, hips directly over the knees, untuck the toes. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest, arms are strong. Exhale, press and round. Inhale, lift the chest. See how long you can make your exhale breath. Press and round, squeeze and hold, activate the abs and the core, stretch those back muscles out. Your own pace here, make it feel good. Then come back through center, draw the left knee in, press and round the upper back and hold here. And then take a neutral spine and then take that leg and just make a giant big hip circle as you neutral the spine out. Come back, press and round, and then take the big hip circle to the outside. So press and round, squeeze those abs, big hip circle. We're going to get into the weights right away, so I want to make sure Get all these joints warmed up. Good, one more time, and then we're simply gonna switch sides. So left knee down, right knee in, press and round, and then take those big hip circles. Good, big hip circles, excellent. One more time. Come back through center. Uh, take your weight, put it in the right hand. So depending on the weight, it should be six pounds or less. So if you have a lighter weight that's three pounds, you're gonna be able to have a bigger range of motion. If you have a weight that's more like five to six pounds, um, the range of motion will be just a little bit smaller. So take the left leg back, lift it up, squeeze the quad, scoop the belly in, take the right arm out. So again, it can be low, medium, or shoulder height. Inhale, lift and lengthen, exhale, round. So if you don't have a weight, you're just doing your elbow to knee here. 
And every time you pull that weight in, elbow to knee, you're exhaling your breath. Good. Make sure that left arm is super strong. Weight is evenly in the palms. Good, two more times. Good, now kick that left leg out, bring the elbow up by the rib cage, palm is facing in. When the leg is out, you're gonna kick back the weight and then bring it all in together. So kickbacks with the tricep press. So that arm stays right by your side. Good. Gaze is just directly down at the mat. Good. And again, if you're just joining, you can do all this without the weight. Just had a lot of requests for weights. So making it a yoga sculpt, but again, it works without the weight too. Good, two more times. On the last one, hold the leg and the arm back. Really engage that left quad and pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You're going to leave that left leg back and straight. Two options here with the right arm. A row with a twist under, or if you have a lighter weight, you can reach out and twist under. So as you twist under, slightly bend that left arm and drop the chest. And when you drop the chest, don't close it off, keep it open, but you're just dipping yourself down. Good. Nice long spine, so the inhale you reach, the exhale you twist. Good. A couple more here. Last two. And one more. Good. Put the weight down. Let's do that funky child pose. Take that left leg, cross it over, and then really reach the right, both arms out in front of you. This will get into that right side hip. Excellent. Come back through center. We're simply going to switch sides. So weight or no weight, up to you. Take that right leg up, engage the quad first, pull the belly in before you start. Left arm out, inhale, lengthen, exhale, squeeze. Good. Again, that right arm is really strong. Excellent. Move with your breath here. This is at your own pace. Good, for two more. Good, leave the right leg lifted and extended. Take the left elbow, it's right by the rib cage. You're gonna kick it back when the leg is out and then draw everything in together. So the leg and the arm go out together. So tricep kick back, keep the elbow right by the rib cage. Good. It can be hard to maintain an ujjayi breath when you're working with weights. So just try to focus on the breath and keep a nice smooth breath. And if it gets a little ragged, slow it down or put down the weight. Good, two more. Good, you're gonna leave that right leg back. Again, your two options. You can row with your twist, slightly bend that right arm as you twist under, or you can reach out and twist. So when you reach out for row, nice long spine. Don't forget about the core. Your right leg is strong and straight. Good. Two more. Good, put the weight down. Funky child's pose, cross that right leg over. Stay up on that left shin and reach out. You're trying to really create some length in the body. This is getting in that left side hip. Awesome. Come back through center. Walk it up to your first plank pose. So just have your weights on the right and left sides of your mat. 
First plank pose here. Press through the palms. Hold the shoulders down. Scoop your belly in. Squeeze your quads. And then rock your weight forwards and backwards. Good. We're getting ready for the first chaturanga. So when you push forward, you're coming as far forward on the balls of those feet as you can. Keep rocking for three, two, on the last one. Rock forward, hold. Let's go first one, knees. Drop down to your chaturanga, elbows point straight back. They are right over your wrist. Press yourself back up, plank pose. Downward facing dog. Roll forward to plank. Shift your weight as far forward as possible. Lower down, chaturanga, hold. Press back up to plank, downward facing. One more time, roll forward to plank. Chaturanga, hold here. We're gonna go all the way down to the mat, slowly untuck the toes, lift your chest, elbows point straight back, baby cobra. Try to root the tops of the feet down into the mat. Bring the forehead back down to the mat. Tuck your toes, scoop your belly in, lift your quads, Press yourself up to plank, downward facing dog. Hold here, pedal out your legs. So in your downward dog, take a look at your wrist. Wrist creases are parallel to the top edges of the mat. If you have tight shoulders, you can slightly turn the hands out. See if you can shake the head yes and no, relax the neck spine. Really point that tailbone up and then press those thighs back evenly. Hold here in stillness. Good, so let's walk through a vinyasa together. On your inhale, roll forward to plank. On your exhale, lower to chaturanga. On your inhale, you're gonna do your baby cobra, or you can do your upward facing dog, or you can do both and then hips up and back, downward facing. Good, one more time. Do it with the breath. Inhale, roll forward to plank. Exhale, lower your chaturanga. Inhale for baby cobra or upward facing. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing. Inhale, the right leg up. Come forward, knee to nose, press and ground. Step it through. Pick up the weight in your right hand if you want to for easy twist. So open that chest up. Left leg is really strong. Now listen, you're gonna start, you can either drop the weight back down by getting it, you just bending the elbow and dropping it, or you circle it back. And as you do that, drop the back knee, raise the weight up, grab it with both hands into your low lunge, Anjayasana. Good, straighten the back leg. Easy twist, so move slowly. Do what works, circle it around, drop that back knee, lift the chest, Anjayasana, good. Keep going with that. So you're going easy twist, low lunge. One more time, and when you end in your low lunge, stay there. Hold the weight up, stand up, crescent lunge, straighten that back leg, tap it back down, pull the weight down. We won't do many. Lift up, reach up, tap back down. Good, the inhale brings you up, exhale down. Good. Just three more. Two. And one. Put your weight down. Turn it into runner's lunge. Bring the back foot up to meet the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Pedal out your legs. Pedal them out. Good. 
inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Reach up, look up. Exhale, guide you all the way back down. Nice, long spine. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back to plank this time. Take it through your vinyasa to downward facing dog. Good, hold here in stillness, check in on your breath. Inhale, the left leg up. Come forward, knee to nose, press and round. Step it through. Find your weight, put it in the left hand if you're using it. Same combo, take that easy twist. Circle it around, drop that back knee, reach up, Andre Asana, low lunge. Good. So just back and forth. Be mindful, it should feel good. Yeah, you guys look great. Let's do one more time through, and then when you end in that low lunge, Keep the weight up if you have it. Otherwise, you're just joining the palms. Good, stand up, straighten the right leg. Tap back down, weight down. Good, so you're really trying to open that right hip. So when you stand up, really press back through that heel. Good. Good, two more. And in your low lunge, carefully get rid of the weight, come to runner's lunge, bring the back foot up to meet the front, inhale, half lift, exhale, forward fold, inhale, rise all the way up, join the palms, exhale, guide it all the way back down, good, pedal out your legs again, pedal them out again. Okay, this time something a little different. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to heart center, stand up, take your feet the width of the mat. You're gonna sit down into Malasana. We're gonna keep it dynamic at first. So sit down, bring it up. Good, down and up. You can even go all the way up to your tippy toes. So keep going. So let me tell you where we're going with this. When we're done with Malasana, we're gonna take our Vinyasa from here. So we've gone over this a lot, how to hop back into your chaturanga. So when we get there, if you don't want to hop back, you're just going to step back. Let's do three more. Two. One. Plant your hands. Either lift your hips and shoot back to chaturanga. Or just step back. Take it through your vinyasa to downward facing. Good. Take the right leg up. No weights on this part. Come forward, knee to nose. Step it through, easy twist. Circle it around, drop the back knee, low lunge. Join the palms. Stand up, crescent lunge. Hands through heart center, inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, crescent lunge, twist. Good, inhale, spin the back heel down, open up warrior two, front heel to back arch, knee over ankle, relax your shoulders, reach through your fingertips. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, extended side angle, right arm goes in front of the back of the leg. Use your core to hold you up. Inhale, reverse the warrior, straighten the front leg. Exhale, arms in a T, hinge at the hip, Weight in the big toe, trikonasana, triangle pose. So trying to create a straight line with the arms. Squeeze your core. Seal the outer edge of that back foot by kicking the heel out. Come back to warrior two. Listen carefully, we're not flowing. Cartwheel the hands down. Get ready to take your weight in the right hand. Step it back to plank with the weight under the right hand or right next to it. 
Good. Open up so you're on the left hand, right arm goes up. Bashi stas in a side plank. Come back to plank. Take the right knee to the left arm and dip down a little. Good. Kick it back. Open up. Bashi stasana. Come back to plank. Take it across. Squeeze your core like crazy when you do that. Good. Your pace. Good. Keep it up. One more time. Good. Come back to plank pose. Hips up and back, downward facing. Bend the knees, hop or step to Malasana. Hold here. Now take your Chaturanga Vinyasa from your Malasana. Go. To downward facing. Hold here in stillness. Check in on the breath. Inhale, take that left leg up. Come forward, knee to nose. Press and round. Step it through, easy twist. Right hand down, left arm up. Circle that arm around, drop the back knee. Anjayasana, low lunge, join the palms. Stand up, crescent lunge. Hands to heart center, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, take your crescent lunge twist. Really spin and open the chest, reach through the crown of the head. Squeeze that right quad. On the next inhale, spin the back heel down. Open up, warrior two, front heel to back arch. Relax the shoulders, lengthen, neutral spine. Maybe sink down a little further in that front leg. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse, straighten the front leg. Exhale, arms in a T. Hinge at the hip, Trikonasana triangle pose. Weight in the big toe, squeeze the quad, open the chest, straight line with those arms. Good, try to kick that back heel out so you can get it straight and seal the foot. Great place for a block. Excellent, come back to warrior two. We're gonna do that same Vashi Stasana knee to elbow combo. So cartwheel the hands down, runner's lunge. Step it back to plank. Get your weight. Now you're opening up onto the right arm. Left arm goes up. Come back through center. Left knee to right arm. Take a twist. Excellent. Your pace. One more time. Good, just put the weight off to the side. Hips up and back, downward facing. Bend the knees, step or hop to Malasana. We're moving on with some weight, so hold here. Okay, forward fold. Bring the feet so they're hip width distance. Halfway lift. Good, and then grab your weights carefully. It's gonna come all the way up. So you're sitting into Utkatasana, so you can either touch your big toes, space between the heel, or if you're more comfortable here, you can do feet hip width distance. All right, so up to you. Lift the chest, squeeze the belly, sit down first. So make sure you're not sticking the ribs out, so soften the ribs to the hips. Squeeze your abs. I want you to just hold the chair and do those tricep kickbacks. So check in with the breath. Keep your eyes up. Don't stare at the ground because then you'll drop your chest. And then it affects your breathing. So keep the eyes up. Awesome. Let's add on a progression. So kick back and then stand up. Weights come straight out in front of you. Sit down, squeeze your abs, control it. Excellent. Good. 
keep it up. Next time you sit, go back to your tricep presses. Pulse here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Listen carefully, keep your knees bent, but bring your chest up. Raise for 10, 9. Squeeze your quads together, and if your feet are apart, then just really engage the muscles of the legs. Weight is in the heels. I think it's four, three, two, one. Good. Turn and face the center of your mat. We're all facing different directions. Good. So take a side lunge over to the right. Reach that left arm across, but keep a nice flat spine. Good. Come through center. Break it up. Good. I think I said break it up. I meant to say press it up. Keep it up. Go slow. Feel everything that you're doing. Try to exhale your breath when you punch the weights up. Good. A couple more each side. Excellent, come through center, hands at the shoulders, heels in, toes out, sit down, goddess pose. Again, please, please, please do not let the pelvis tilt. You're gonna hurt your back. So make sure you sit down and you have a neutral spine. So they're at your shoulders here. Open them up, raise the elbows up. They're even with the shoulders. So hold your squat, tap the elbows down, raise up. First 10, we're not moving the legs. Second 10, we'll move the legs. Good. Keep it up. Try to hold as low as you can. Engage your abs. Two more, then we're gonna keep the arms going and add the legs. So when you stand up, arms are up. When you sit down, they're down. it up. Four, three, two, one more. Weight are going to go on the hips, sit down, pulse at your lowest point for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold where you can hold. Reach that right arm up and over. Then switch. So you're trying to exhale your breath when you reach. And then the other arm goes in the pocket of the hip. Come on. For four, three, try to reach over the ear, two, and one, you're gonna bring your weights in, kick the heels out, feet are parallel to the short edges of the mat, Squeeze your core, lower it down into your prasarita, padottanasana. Take a break, forward fold. If you have an inversion practice, this is a great place to put it in. Otherwise, just check in on the breath, stretch the hamstrings, make it feel good. Walk those hands out so they're underneath the shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift. Take a twist to the right, left hand down, right arm up. Good, switch sides. We're gonna put the weights down. We're gonna flow a little bit and do some balancing. Come back through center. Crawl it to runner's lunge. Step it back to plank. Take it through your vinyasa to downward facing dog. We'll come back to the weights, don't worry. Good. Hold here for three rounds of breath. Three rounds of breath. Good. 
Inhale that right leg up. Come forward, knee to nose. Step it through, do your easy twist. This time, just take it up to your crescent lunge. Join the palms, release the index fingers. Take a side bend to the right. Good, come through center, hands through heart center, spin the back heel down, open up, warrior two, sink down in your front leg, kick that back heel out, relax your shoulders, inhale, reverse, exhale, side angle. We're gonna do that a couple times. Inhale, reverse, squeeze those abs, exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle, hold. You can take the top arm and half bind it. If you have a full bind, you can take it. But whatever you do, keep the chest open and up. And then if you find yourself hunched over in your bind, grab a towel, t-shirt, strap. It's a great way to create the space that you need. Good, release your bind. Reverse triangle, straighten that front leg, take it back. Take it into full trikonasana. Now for a different arm variation, if you want, see if you can reach that left arm up and over the ear. If that doesn't work, you can do a half bind here. So do something different. Pick what works for you. It's harder to reach that arm over the ear than you think, right? <laughs> Good, from here, come back to warrior two. Getting ready to head into Ardha Chandrasana half moon. So again, before you start, it's so easy for the toes and the knees to turn in. Make sure they are pointed straight ahead and then start to shift your weight. Long spine with external rotation in that left hip. Open the chest, again, great place for a block. If you have a block, it's to the outside edge of the pinky toe on your right foot. If you have a bind, quarter moon, you can take it. That right hand can even touch the ground if you want. You can take the hand to the heart. Now listen carefully. As you come out of it, come to balance at the top edge of your mat on the right foot. Left knee up. Then put it down, so we're switching legs. So now you're on your left foot, hinging at the hip, airplane pose. That way that right leg doesn't get so fatigued. So on this one, hips are square to the mat. Reach through the crown of the head. Engage that right quad. Now listen carefully. Take the arms back. Come to standing on the left leg. Right leg is still floating. Bring it up in front. Hands through heart center, airplane, so dynamic airplane. Squeeze your abs, move slow. And when you get there, come back up. Take the leg out in front, circle those arms up. Good. One more time. You will end in your airplane pose. Hinge at the hip, bend the left knee a little bit, and start to take it down into your standing split. If you have a handstand practice and you want to do your kickups, this is a great place to take it. So my biggest handstand tips, arms are shoulder width distance. If they're any wider, it makes it extremely difficult. Look right past your fingertips and then really try to walk one foot in so you can get the hips up a little higher. Good. Otherwise, just holding. And then when you're ready, bring that right foot down to meet the left. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Then plant your hands, step or shoot back. Take it through your vinyasa to downward facing. 
hold here, three rounds of breath. Check out the palms, weights distributed evenly. Really lift that tailbone up. Press those thighs back evenly. Good. Inhale the left leg up, come forward, knee to nose. Step it through, easy twist. Circle it around, come all the way up to your crescent lunge. Join the palms, release the index fingers. Take a side bend to the left. Good, come through center, spin the back heel down. Open up to your warrior two. See if you can sink down a little further in that front leg. Kick that back heel out. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. So we're flowing between the two. So really focus on your core and your abs moving you. Good, and just try to create length. Good. Keep the chest open. Keep the shoulders down. Next time you end up in side angle, hold your position. You can take that half bind. You can take your full bind. Whatever you do, chest is up. Front knee is still over the ankle, so look at it. Look at that back leg, don't let it bend. Strong. Good, release the bind, straighten the front leg, reverse triangle, reach back. Feels so good. Take it into Trikonasana. Try a different arm variation. So either reach that right arm over the ear, if you can, or take a half bind. Good, come back to your warrior two. Check out the knee, ankle, toe alignment, straight ahead. Getting ready for Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Start to shift your weight. If you have that block, again, it goes to the outside of the pinky edge. Take your time. We're trying to create space in the body, not close it off. And again, if you have your quarter moon, and then left hand can go to the ground, hand to the heart. Good, listen carefully. You're gonna bring that back foot up to meet your front. Hands to heart center when you get there. Now you're moving to balance airplane, standing on the right leg. So, excuse me, hinge at the hip. Then when you get there, take those arms back, long spine, hips square to the mat. And then we're gonna move dynamically. So bend the right knee a little bit, stand up, circle the arms around, left leg up and through. Good, move slowly, look at the breath. times. Next time you're on an airplane, you're going to hold and then start to soften that right leg, taking down to your standing split. So even here, back out of the height of the standing split to square the hips to the mat. Okay. And then try different variations. See if you can take one hand to the ankle, maybe both. Or with kick ups. And when you're ready, release both hands to the mat. Bring the left foot down to meet the right. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. We're gonna take it down to our backs and do some abs with weights. So bend the knees, sit down, come all the way to your sitting bones, Navasana boat pose, whatever version you want. I'm on repeat here, but you're rooting for your sit bones. Reach to the crown of the head, really open the chest. Have your weights available. Bend the 
bend the knees. We're gonna do a combo here. So it's a reverse crunch. So reverse crunch, and then grab the backs of the legs, sit up, boat pose, and inversion. Good, slowly lower, squeeze your abs, reverse crunch. If you can do halasana without putting pressure on the neck spine, I'm fine with that, but just make sure that you don't dump to the back of the neck when you do it. That's why reverse crunch is a really good option. Again, move slowly with the breath. So nice, you guys. Next time you end up in boat pose, hold whatever version you want. Good, grab the backs of the legs, bring the heels down. Get your weight, so you're gonna start with one weight, so just put the other weight to the left side of the mat. So start with one weight in the right hand. Lie down, put your left hand behind your head. So you're gonna reach the right hand for the left foot and when you do your right leg is also going to float up off the ground and then bring everything down so exhale lift inhale down do a bunch of add-ons here this is just where we're starting then if you can see if you can really tuck that right knee in when you reach up For five, please don't pull on the neck. Four, three, two, and one. Float the left leg straight, right knee is bent. Reach to the inside, pull it in, outside. In, out. You can do this without weights. In, out, we won't do many. Side to the outside. Good. Keep it up. Two more. Two. And one. Good. Then I want you to sit all the way up. Weight is still in the right hand. You're bending the right leg. Then left hand comes out to the side. So this is hard without the weight. So you can do this with or without. You're going to press yourself up, reach for the foot, sit down. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys ask for this stuff. Reach and lift. And if it's too much, just get rid of the weight, okay? So take your time. Good. So I like it best, the hand without the weights is the fingertips point straight out. Palm is flat. It's really hard. Your fingertips are facing your butt or the other way. It puts a lot of torque on your shoulder. You don't want to do that. Just two more. We have one more little add on here. Weight is still in the right, right leg is bent. Now press up and then turn it over. It's like a side plank. And then just sit back down, bring the weight to the shoulder. So expand. It's almost like wild thing. Good. Lift. Got it. Just a couple more. Good. One more. Good. Come back through center. Heels can be down or up. Grab the weight. Twist. Again, we did this last week. If you want to straighten in between, add a little, you can do that. Good, two more. Heels down, lower yourself all the way down. Get rid of the weight, do a happy baby, regroup. We're gonna do the other side, so all that on the other side. Take a moment. Good, all right. Weight goes in the left hand, bend the left knee, take that right leg up. 
right hand behind the head. So set yourself up. When you're gonna do those reaches, exhale the breath, inhale, lowers it down. Good. Check you guys out. Good. So again, stay with the breath here. Nice. Good work, you guys. So when we can start picking up all these weights, we forget about all the other stuff. So squeeze your core like crazy as you're moving through this. Engage those abs. Don't let your back do the work here. For three, two, and one. Good. So now bend the left leg, right leg is straight out. You're reaching to the inside, outside. Inside, out. Good, engage the leg. That right quad should be squeezed. Good, you got it. For three, two, one. Sit all the way up. So again, that same reach to the right foot with the left hand. Press yourself up and then down. So when you lift, straighten that right arm out. Good. It's not easy. Good. Squeeze your abs like crazy, you guys. Exhale your breath when you lift. How about three more? Three, two, one, it's that add-on, comes back to your shoulder, turn it over to the side, come back down. So when you come back down, square the hips and the chest, and then take your twist. Good. Two more. One more. Good. Bend the knees. Both weights if you want. She's back. Scoop the belly in. Lower all the way down. Reverse crunch. Come up. Boat pose. Try to punch it out. Put the arms down. Reverse. You can do one weight by holding with both ends. No weights. I want you to knit your ribs in, pull your belly in when you reach those weights out. Good, you got it. Two more. Good, last one. Keep your weights, lie down. So, um, ankles like lined up right underneath your knees. You're gonna bridge up, so don't let the legs sway. Spin those thighs towards one another. Take the weights up, and then I want you to lower them down so you can put the weights together. Squeeze your abs like crazy. Lower them as far as you can without putting any stress on the shoulder. And then squeeze, pull it back around. Drop the hips all the way down. So open up, take the weights back. Squeeze your abs, come all the way down. Good, your pace here. If you don't like going back over the head or you have shoulder issues, you can just punch straight up and down. Again, you could use one weight, hold the ends up and down. That's always an option, okay? So do what works. But when you take those weights back over your head, like most of you are doing, you should really feel it in the abs. Good, so nice. Two more with your moving arms. Good, 
one more. Then lift the hips, take the weights up, hold your bridge, and then you're gonna make your gold post arms like opening up like a chest press, and then tap the weights together. So hold the bridge, lift the hips, engage your core, your own pace here. Good, keep lifting those hips for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, you got it, four, three, two, one, put the weights down, grab the backs of the legs, take a rock and roll vinyasa, cross the ankles, step or shoot back, chaturanga, to downward facing dog. Take your right leg up, bring the knee to the outside of the right arm, then swing it to center, then kick it back. Good, come forward, knee to the outside, center, kick it back. Good, side, center. You're gonna do that a couple more times or if you have your arm balance, you're taking it here, shifting your weight forward, dropping the chaturanga arms. Good. You will end up in three-legged dog. When you're done, step the right foot to the outside of the right wrist, lizard pose, drop the back knee, heel toe the right foot out, press out. Good. You have a bind or a quad stretch. So the quad stretch, you're obviously pulling the heel in chest heart opener, kicking it out. Good. Bring the right hand to the inside of the right foot. Step it back, plank pose, hips up and back, downward facing. So other side. So get your downward first, take left leg up, bring it to the outside of the left arm, center, kick it back. Side, center. So we're going to do one more all together. Good. This time, either keep going or if you have your arm balance or want to try, shift your weight forward, drop down, chaturanga arms, squeeze your abs, see if you can lift that right leg up. Then we will all meet in three legged dog. Stepping it to lizard pose, left foot to the outside of the left wrist. Good, drop that back knee. You can find your stretches you want. Good. Then release. Step it back to plank, drop the knees down, press back, child's pose. Drop the forehead to the mat here. Walk your hands to the right side of the mat and take that left arm on top. Breathe into that left side rib. Walk it back through center. Take the right arm on top of the left. Feel the breath, feel the belly. Breathe into the right side rib. Good, just bring the chest up. Bring it over to a seated position. Feet out in front. To your sit bones there. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Join the palms. Release the index fingers. Hollow out. Reach up. Dive it forward to your Paschimottanasana. Lengthen the spine first and then take your forward fold.
last thing, take your left peace fingers to the right toes, bend the right leg, come up first, and take your seated twist. Good, come through center, carefully release it down. Right peace fingers to the left toes, bend the knee first, then lift and kick. Take your twist. back through center. Slowly release. You can bend the knees or keep them straight. Lower all the way down. Supta Baddha Konasana. One hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. Close your eyes. Tap into the third eye. Go back to your intention. Take one big inhale breath. Audible, loud exhale breath. Nobody can hear you go. Another inhale breath. On your exhale, releasing into Shavasana. Take up some space. Really open the chest up. The hips will open. And try to think of something that's weighing you down, it's causing you stress. See if you can let a little bit of that float away. And just watch it float away. Then when you're ready, wiggling the fingers and the toes, reaching the arms overhead, bending the knees, rolling to the right side and just taking a pause here, remembering stillness, the breath, your intention. This is how we can take our practice from the mat into our real life. This gives us the ability Spread our kindness. The world needs it. Good. Press yourself up to a comfortable seated position, bringing your hands to heart center and bowing the head. May all beings be happy and free, and my thoughts, words, and my actions contribute to this in some way. Taking the thumbs to the third eye, symbolizing right and kind thoughts. To the lips, symbolizing right and kind speech and to the heart, symbolizing right and kind actions. The light in me honors and sees the light in you. Namaste.